Gentlemen, check it out. So just the other day, I'm cleaning up around the house, and when I got into the bedroom and my closet, I took a look around and I noticed a few things that I do to help keep my space fairly organized. Now, some of you guys might consider what I do maybe a bit extreme, but I don't really think I'm that bad, but I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of you that would even say I could do even better. Anyway, I wanted to make this quick video to show you exactly what I do and some of those little Amazon products that I bought that help keep my bedroom and my closet fairly organized. Everything I mentioned in this video will be linked down below. Now, first things first though, before I get into any of these specific products that I like to use, let me show you how I organize my clothes in my closet. So as you can see with my shirts, I've got all of my short sleeve shirts at one end, then all my long sleeve shirts on the other end. So right away, I'm basically moving from casual to formal. Now I also like putting similar colors together, pattern stuff together, and then polo shirts together. And at least for me, this way, if I know I wanna wear that blue short sleeve button down, I only have to look in one section. I don't have to scour the entire closet trying to find that one thing. And if you haven't noticed, all of my hangers are these wooden hangers. And I've showed these and talked about these in several other videos, and these are way better than those cheap plastic hangers. Now, the main reasons I like these are, number one, they look amazing, and number two, they extend out longer than plastic hangers, and they're also a lot thicker so they don't leave those nasty shoulder bumps in all of your shirts. Now, you can also get the kind, kind of like this, that sort of bend outwards at the back, and that helps keep a little better shape to your shirts. Now, another thing, if you like to hang your sweaters and your jackets, get some of these thicker wooden coat hangers because these are gonna protect the shoulders and the structure of all your coats and jackets, and they're not gonna stretch out your sweaters like those really thin hangers. And don't even think about hanging your sweaters with those really thin, cheap plastic hangers because you will destroy the shoulders of all your sweaters. All right, moving on to my pants. So I like to have jeans at one end, chinos somewhere in the middle, and then dress pants at the far end. And the one thing that I've always hated were those dumb crease marks that you would get when you would fold your pants over those thin plastic hangers. Now, these hangers are made specifically to hang pants. They're obviously open at one end. They're very simple to use and get your pants to hang. They have this nice thick rubber sort of foamy pad. And this is gonna eliminate all those crease marks and they're incredibly sturdy. The other bonus is that your pants won't slide off and then end up in a wad down on the floor. <laughs> these have been an absolute game changer for me. All right, now these next items aren't specifically from Amazon, but I know that Amazon has different versions of these drop front shoe boxes. And I've tried some of those thin plastic shoe boxes that you can get from Amazon that you put together and assemble yourself, but they always kind of seemed a little bit too flimsy for me, at least the ones that I've tried. Now these ones are from the container store and they're linked down below in the description. Now these come in a few different colors and a bunch of different sizes. So you can put your regular shoes in the large size and then your boots and taller shoes in the extra large size. Now, they're not the cheapest thing that you'll ever buy, but once you do, I'm telling you, they make storing and organizing your shoes extremely easy and very good looking. Now, I also recently picked up this acrylic belt organizer. I mean, look, belts are always one of those really weird items that can kind of be difficult to store and to organize. I've tried hooks and I've tried hangers, but this is my new solution. I think I might need to get one more of these, but this one in particular holds seven different belts. You can see exactly what you have. It's very easy to use. And personally, I think it looks pretty cool. All right, now moving out of the closet into the bathroom, I just wanted to touch on three different things here really quick. First are these acrylic storage bins. I know it sounds ridiculous, but we all know that under cabinet storage can be a bit of a challenge. And I'm still looking for something that's a little taller that I can stack. So if you can recommend anything, let me know down in the comments or send me a DM over on Instagram because I'm looking. So right now I'm using these to kind of keep all of my cologne bottles organized, but you can just as easily put like all your vitamins in here or even different products that you use on a regular basis that you keep underneath your sink. So when I was looking for the direct link to this on Amazon, I couldn't find the exact match. So I'll go ahead and try to find some links to some similar items down below. Okay, the next item is this drawer divider. Now, it seems like a lot of the things that we use in the bathroom are on the somewhat small side. 
So we've got these big drawers with a bunch of little small products sliding around all over the place. Now this drawer divider is adjustable and it helps to separate the drawer into a few different sections. So maybe you've got shave products on one side and then you've got some hair products on the other side. So I also use these rubber drawer liners in my drawers to add a little bit of cushion and also some grip so things don't slide around too much. All right, now moving into this shower. I really like this shower shelf that attaches over the top of my shower and enclosure. Now it's not incredibly fancy or anything like that, but it's really good quality and you can also move the shelves around, I guess, depending on the sizes of the bottles that you have. I like that it fits over the glass and it doesn't hang off of the shower head like a lot of them do, but I do get it. Some showers don't have enclosures like I do. But if you've got a bunch of your shower products just all over the floor of your shower, get some type of shelf system in your shower. You can even get those floating kind that suction cup directly to the walls. All right, now one thing that's worth mentioning, and it is a little bit funny because when I was setting up to film this video and then shoot all the B-roll of like the shower shelf, I had to clean the glass shower walls because we have hard water here in Southern California. And when I tested it out, it looked pretty bad on camera. So I jumped on YouTube trying to figure out like different ways to clean hard water spots off of the glass. And the one that I found was to use this quadruple zero steel wool and this Rain-X shower door cleaner. Now I know this is kind of off topic for today's video, but I've used these scrubber pads that attach to my drill, but nothing has worked as well as steel wool. Now you have to get the quadruple zero because this is the finest steel wool that you can get and it won't scratch up your glass. So you basically take a pad out, dunk it in some water, then apply the cleaner right to the pad and start going over the glass in a nice circular motion. And it is insane how easy this is and it only takes you a few minutes. And you can even kind of hear and feel when you've got that area clean because it starts off kind of sounding and feeling kind of gritty and rough. Then in just a few passes, it changes to just a smooth feel and sound. Now, I'm gonna link both of these down below just in case you're interested. All right, moving out of the bathroom into the bedroom. Listen, practically every single time I show this in videos, people ask me where I got it. Basically, this is a very inexpensive drawer organizer. It's perfect for socks or underwear or pocket squares, anything small. You can see everything you have at a glance and you don't have to like dig around trying to find that one pair of socks that go with that one pair of pants because they're buried underneath everything else. But again, super simple and super inexpensive. Once again, gentlemen, everything is gonna be linked down below and be sure to check out this video that I made that talks about some do's and don'ts when it comes to your bedroom decor. Thank you guys very much for watching. Live well and I'll see you in the next one.